Oh, yeah. So it's just it. Those are all training things, training rewards. Those outfits. Oh. It would appear that our Helganquil host really has fulfilled its end of the bargain. I actually didn't fucking read it. It was also Time training. I saw outfits and got I guess excited. This means we should give that warp <laughs> spin. Oh. It was my fault. Space. I thought that was actually the game. <laughs> Say. Cool. Really cool. Time to find a random merchant up here. <laughs> There's nothing here. This weird ocean we're surrounded by just stretches out everywhere. Is this really where the hell Ganquil come from? I don't sense even a trace of astral energy. This world is dead. Then this must be the hollowing. You mean to tell me this whole world, the entire ocean is that stuff? And it's covering everything. The entire planet. This is what the Great Spirit does. After it depleted this planet of every last speck of astral energy, it went after Dana. So arresting, this world of doom. Back in its day, Rena was probably just as vibrant as Dana is. But after being robbed of its astral energy for so long, those days are gone and past. This is all that will remain. So the Great Spirit took everything. It stole energy not just from living beings, but the land, the sea, everything. And it bound the Helganquil in servitude until their whole world was nothing but this. And by the looks of it, that's how it remains to this day. A world of death and emptiness. With nothing left here to consume, the Great Spirit turned its sights on Dana, looking for another host. You're saying if we don't stop it, this is what Dana's going to look like? We can be sure that even these few remaining remnants of Ren and life will not be spared in the end. The oblivion and darkness both Shion and Naori saw comes to pass. Nothing will survive. It looks like we can climb down from there. Let's take a look. Oh. That was cool. That was pretty cool. So this is Rena. This is where everything began. Yet it's a dead world. I won't let huh. Dana suffer the same fate ever. Special owls. A hollowed ocean as far as the eye can see. What do you think would happen if we fell in? What do you mean, what would happen? You'd drown, wouldn't you? Come to think of it, I don't believe I've heard of someone ever trying. Perhaps you'd like the glory of being the first? <laughs> no, I'll pass. <laughs> this is essentially a world-sized Renan graveyard. Are you proposing to disturb the dead slumber just to satisfy your curiosity, love? <laughs> no, because I said I passed. <laughs> Taking an interest is understandable, but let's not forget where we are. I love this love. place deserves our respect. Looks like we're not going to be hearing the end of this one for a while. You think I was already snorkeling in it or something? <laughs> so the idea is to seal the great spirit inside the Renis Alma using the Sovereign and Maiden's power. But just how do we do that exactly? I'm guessing it won't be as easy as holding a spirit channeling ceremony at our leisure. 
I already had wielded astral energy once three centuries ago. As for suppressing her thorns, she owns had a lifetime's experience. The problem isn't just our enemy's strength, it's that it's sentient, too. And you can bet anything you like, it's not going to just sit back and let us destroy it. In other words, we need to find some way to weaken it in advance. The Great Spirit, that is. Back when Xion's thorns flew out of control, we were able to deal with them directly. If this is their host, they should be even more corporeal here. If that's the case, it should make them easier to attack, at least. Here we go and again. And if we can manage to divert enough energy away from the spirit's core, even temporarily... We might just be able to weaken it enough to steal the Renis Alma, which we can then use to seal it away forever. It won't be easy, but it's our only shot. Time to buckle up! Question for you. Let's say, knock on wood, Fuck. everything turns out for the best. What'll the world be like? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, I mean, at the end of this, do you really think everything will be that different? A lot will have to change, that's for sure. The world will have to adjust to so much. My only worry is if those changes turn out to be merely skin deep. What do you mean? It's well and good putting an end to Renan rule. But if it just turns the tables, it's all for naught. That's true. Just as bad if the Danans start oppressing their own. Renans, Danans, Astral Art users, mages. The world is full of labels used to divide and separate people. If only we could see differences like that for what they are. No different to someone having a musical talent or being good with their hands. Not differences so much as characteristics. It will take someone in power to set an example, but with time, people will follow. And then, perhaps one day, there will no longer be any need for the example. It will have become second nature. That's where we come in. We can set the example. Imagine it. A world where magic and astral arts are used to help people. Where that's the norm rather than the exception. Yeah, you're right, Rinwell. Why wait for somebody else? We can show them ourselves. Okay, so it looks like we can finally fast travel. What the? A side quest? In space? Space quest. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. We're going back to dock. Starship. In a while. Finally. Oh, the mask is fully gone. Only we could have Old flown man. with the wind to get here faster. Oh my god. <laughs> hey! Hey, I just realized something. Is this about dinner last night? I didn't realize those ingredients were off. Lost? What? No! I mean, wait, you fed us rotten food? Rinwell, the point. <laughs> hmm? Uh, oh, yeah, right. So I was thinking about those armored soldiers we've seen. There are regular Renans inside them, right? Yeah, they're designed to make whoever's wearing them stronger. At least, I think that's the idea. Right. So it kind of begs the question, then. Why are they made so huge? I don't know. Makes them more intimidating, I guess. Or maybe all that tech wizardry inside takes up a lot of space. You don't think it's weird how the armored soldiers are the exact same height as the Hell Ganquil? Can't say I'd ever noticed it till now. And? Connect the dots, Law! Okay, let me get this straight. <laughs> you think the armored suits might have originally been designed to allow Renans to work alongside the Helganquil? Huh. But if that's true, what would that mean? It would mean... just that, I guess. But still, don't you think it's kind of interesting? Not... hugely? Hey, Kisara, well, I've got you. Oh my What's god. On tonight's menu? Because I was thinking, maybe neat. Get him, Hoodle. <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, oh, what did I do? <laughs> oh, now you want to listen. Keep pecking, Hoodle. Uh, ow, ow, ow. Seriously, what the hell? Oh, my. Yay. <sighs> I never realized before just how hot this place is. It's like being inside a fire. You're only just noticing? Ah, yes, forgive me. 
The whole lack of sensory feedback situation. That's the one. It's hard to believe I once worked in this soup, let alone helped spearhead a revolution. And all with a mask concealing your face. It must have been very grimy beneath that. Yeah. Back then, we had our plates full enough dealing with constant abuse from our Ren and overlords. It never occurred to me the air itself was oppressive in its own way. My head spinning just with the effort it takes to walk. Uh, I think that's called heat stroke. <laughs> you might uh. want to take a sip of water. You mean that water that's been festering under the sun for days? I wouldn't chance it without boiling it first. Oh, I know. I'll go to the dock and fetch us some clean water. Water alone won't suffice. He'll need to ensure his sodium levels are replenished as well. In that case, let's see if we can rustle up some rocks. Oh my off. god. Alpen, you go cool <laughs> off in the shade for a while. Xion, stay and keep an eye on him. Uh. And then there were two. <laughs> Bit of an overreaction. But it's still kind of them. Maybe it's not the time, but this place brings back memories. I know what you mean. We're back where Get him a Gatorade and go back to space. You don't ever. <laughs> <laughs> me sometimes. Do you? Are you kidding? You started all of this. Bringing down the wall, retrieving my sense of self. I have no regrets. <sighs> uh... <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, uh... Welcome back, Law. I s- Oh my god. You know, guys, when you think about it, we've taken out a lot of Zoogles. Like, a whole lot. You can say that again. If one thing's for certain in this world, it's that wherever we go, we'll always end up bumping into them. Isn't it weird that they're still so plentiful? You don't think the Renans have, like, a ranch where they breed them, do you? Certainly in all of my years, I've never heard of them constructing such a massive facility on Dana. Let alone up in Lenigus. The only thing I can think of, then, is that the Feral Ones must be reproducing on their own. There's also no organized effort on our part to hunt them down, so it's difficult to fully exterminate them. Exterminate them? Whoa, don't you think that's maybe a little harsh? What do you mean? Zoogles originally used to be living creatures native to Dana and Rena, right? Being genetically modified isn't their fault. You're right. Zoogles were only created because of us Renans. We altered the original creatures to suit our own ends. First people made Zoogles, and then we let them go. And now we're trying to kill them because they're a threat. They really have only seen the very worst, huh? I hope we find a way to be able to live side by side with them one day. It's a nice thought, but they attack towns and cities. What else are we supposed to do? Aside from the strays that have gone wild, it's worth remembering that Renans are able to keep them somewhat under control. If we had distinct territories that didn't overlap, that might reduce the danger they pose. Well, I guess when you look at it that way, maybe people and Zoogles aren't so different after all. <laughs> we just came here to talk to Doc, bro. What happened? <laughs> My god. Uh. Hey. Hmm. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yes. Hmm. Just great. Uh, how's this? Got it. Hey. Yay! Bread. All right. <laughs> Brib. Okay. Now your posture, bro. We've reached our destination. What's this? Hey, she's pretty cute. Who are you looking at? Egg. Quit gawking and let's go. Ow! <laughs> Remember when I used to play in the water here? I picked up an apple gel. Man. Hey, if we find <laughs> anyone who needs help here, I remember. I we'll make sure. Yeah. Go and rest at a few camps. Okay. Hey. Oh, Alistair, we went to <laughs> look at DLC. Yeah, there ain't shit in there. <laughs> Nothing that makes the game easier. It's just costumes and accessories uh -huh. and stuff. 
Okay. Might as well talk to him over here. Huh? Well. Sealed off area. Finally, I can punch that rock. <laughs> Oops. That was quite the little adventure. Uh, the DLC you can on. activate. I think so. It gives SP and EXP buffs. Uh, if any of this shit is EXP buffs, uh, I don't see that. It's all just fucking costumes. And in a difficulty type. Hey, Law. Been training? Yeah, I guess I got a little carried away. You think this is bad? You should see what? the state of my underwear. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> a word of advice. You might want to refrain from mentioning that stuff around girls. Ones without a military history, especially. <laughs> Man, can you imagine mm -hmm. Greenwell's face? She'd have a nervous breakdown. I'm into you general, sure? but... You sure mm -hmm. mention her a lot, you know. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, I, uh, I, you know, she's always there, even when you least expect it. Springs to mind easily. Either that, or maybe some part of you is subconsciously always wishing she was there. May the trials and tribulations of young romance <laughs> never change. R romance? Like I'd be interested in that know-it-all tomboy. I'm oh, more boy. about mature women. Oh, no. Someone more like Kisara. Nice. You know, I used to be a tomboy too when I was Rinwell's age. Look, it's not tomboys I have anything against. But come on, you gotta admit she can be a lot to handle. Hey, I miss anything? What's all the fuss about? Uh, Rinwell. Hmm. Thunder Blade! Ah! What the hell was that for? A little birdie told me you were <laughs> behind my back. Hehe. <laughs> 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 From the looks of it, I'd say you've got yourself a rival. It wouldn't be called the Spring of Youth without a little storm every now and then. Wow. Oh my <laughs> god. Hey, Shion, how are you and Alvin getting on these days? That's a little out of the blue. Why do you ask? Sorry, it's just... I don't know, I'm just curious, I guess. I mean, a lot's changed now he's got his senses back and all. I suppose you're right. Well, to tell you the truth, if he'd been the way he is now back when I'd first met him, I probably wouldn't have gotten this involved. But then, if we hadn't met like we did, then I never would have experienced these feelings, so... <sighs> I guess... it's complicated. I can imagine. I know it's not the same thing, but... I know what it feels like to have someone you love who's out of reach. Because of Miguel. Alfin's still alive. It's not too late, you know. And after all, who can say what the future holds? I think if I were you, I'd take things as they come for now. Besides, touch isn't everything. I've never touched you, Xion. But that doesn't stop you from knowing that I care about you, right? That's true. But I do remember back when we first met, you made it plenty clear you weren't my biggest fan. B but that was a long time ago. There were lots of things I didn't understand back then. Uh, not that that's the point. Don't worry, I'm only teasing. I know what you mean. Thank you. And you're right. There are ways to convey your feelings besides just touching. 
I'll say. Cooking immediately springs to mind. <laughs> and if it's someone's favorite dish, all the better. If there's something on your mind that you want to tell him, why not try appealing directly to his stomach? He might just spice. have a point. I'll mm. give it a shot. Yes. Uh oh. The spice. Alvin's palate you're trying to do. That doesn't bode well for the rest of us. Well, well, friendship is about being supportive. Sometimes we just have to do our best and take one for the team, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Even after staying here, we never truly got to the bottom of what makes this realm's citizens tick. Renan and Danon are meaning you have to, to think of here. To have one's own mind is strictly forbidden. All that matters is blind obedience. That might be the case now. It can't always have been like that. There must have been something more. Once, maybe. Question is, is that something still salvageable? If it's not, we'll just have to make something new. No, not we. They've had enough foisted on them as it is. You're right. It's time the people here had the chance to forge their own path. That's not to say it'll be easy, but it will be worthwhile. These things take time to... What uh. the... An ambush? S sorry Sorry. There was a huge <laughs> bug and I sort of shot without thinking. A bug? You mean like a zoogle? Something tells me she would have shot it, whether it was a zoogle or not. This realm is teeming with human forests. <laughs> It's only natural insects would be more than aim. Than Menencia. In fact, I seem to recall reading somewhere that bugs around these parts lay their eggs in human food to ensure healthy Ew. incubation. Sounds <laughs> like they're tougher than they look. What, she what loves about food. you, Alfin? Bugs don't creep you out? I wouldn't say I was their number one fan. Mind you, if times get desperate enough, I've been known to eat them. Insects as a culinary option, you say? What kind of seasoning are we talking? <laughs> oh, no. no, Helene. I don't think he was talking about cooking them. Hey, a lizard! <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't there more of those in this game? <laughs> Damn. Go to all the city. Leo Temple. Isn't that where Shion was being held? <gasps> oh my god. Wasn't it beautiful? I can't wait for this. <sighs> I never thought about this until now, Alfin. But doesn't it get hot wearing that armor all the time? You feel heat and cold again, don't you? Admittedly, yeah. It can get pretty toasty in this thing. Is it hard when your back starts to itch? Oh, you bet. <laughs> Plus, my shoulders get stiff wearing it, even if it's not all that heavy. Kisara looks like she manages all right with her armor. She sure does. Armor takes a strong body and a stout heart. <laughs> Spoken like a true guardsman. Not that I really get what you mean. The more I think about it, the more I realize what a pain it must be. Like, what do you do when you need to take a leak? Ew! <laughs> that part can be a bit of a pain, yeah. More things to take off. That sucks, man. Wouldn't it be easier if you just walked <laughs> around outside of your armor most of the time instead? You never know when the enemy might attack. As tempting as it might be to take it off, it's not worth getting killed over. So basically, you're screwed if you ever get attacked while taking a dump. Right, Runwell? <laughs> Are you doing this on purpose? <laughs> <Poodle>. <laughs> All the cities. All the cities. I'm getting all the side quests first. And then all the cities. Uh, we finally made it. Huh? I think someone's calling out for us. They could. Okay. Yes. Bet. Hmm. Excuse me. Uh. Hey. 
<laughs> really now. What? I see. Agreed. Very nice. Are you at a six star? He's googled before, but probably that enemy type. Dohalim, the line of researchers is getting longer. Perhaps uh. I should have put more thought into this before accepting. <laughs> Alright, um... Uh... We've been to Calaglia. Now it says Lodia. Just to see if there's anything here specifically. It has been a while since we've been, like, in here, in here. Finally! If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster! Nothing! Hey, Rinwell, Something. tell me about your parents. What were they like? <laughs> they were kind. That's the part I like to remember. They could also be strict, though, especially when it came to magic. I never understood why I had to work so hard to learn magic. Why we couldn't just be done with it and live openly like everyone else. Needless to say, that didn't go over well. Of course, if I'd had known that one day I'd be doing this, I would have taken my studies more seriously. What about your parents? Same deal. Run through the mill. Told constantly that training was the only way to survive in a world like this. It got bad enough that I ended up running away and siding with the Renans of all people. And now, I've got that training to thank for being alive. I know how that feels. The first time we met, you risked using your magic to stop me from kicking my dad's ass. You could have done anything else. You could have ignored it. So... Why? Yeah, I guess something about Zephyr reminded me of my own father. You don't say. So, did your pops and mine look a lot like each other? Not really. Not at all, in fact. I don't know how to explain it. I just felt a resemblance, I guess. Wow. Well, I won't pretend I understand, but I'm glad. Your dad must have been a great guy. He was. Maybe it's the snow soaking up all the sound, but something about Cislodia always feels mysterious to me. Solemn, almost. When it comes to solemnity, I'd say our own Ottolina Palace is no slouch. I won't argue with you there. Still, that azure tint of the shadows on the silvery white snow, it has a certain indescribable quality. Indeed. It was boorish of me to even suggest such a comparison. All I know is it's freaking cold. <laughs> Still, more pleasant now that the locals aren't quite as frosty towards us. Hmm. Well, excuse me if I'm too frosty for your warm self. Oh, come on! You know I didn't mean you. Besides, really, I'm the one who... How about we stop getting hung up on the past for a change? Take what you've learned and put it to use in the future instead. An unexamined past can be just as dangerous in its own right. Better that than obsessing over it like a certain someone I uh. know. Kisara uh. doesn't mince her words, does she? <laughs> I could say the same thing about one or two of the other women around here. Uh. Tell me about it. <laughs> I think I'll refrain from commenting on this one. <laughs> Poodle, I've got some dried fish for you. You want some? <laughs> Forget that. Doesn't some tasty red meat sound better, boy? <laughs> hey! Stop trying to coax him away with treats! Get your own adorable sidekick if you're so desperate for one! <laughs> he appears to enjoy being the center of attention. Funny how things change. He and Rinwell used to be joined at the hip, or shoulder to Talon. It's not just Hoodle who's become more trusting. Isn't that so, Rinwell? They do say pets and their owners act alike. I suppose since we've been together, 
I've done my share of coming out of my own shell, too. Well, then, I guess with you and Hoodle, that hmm. makes us all one big, happy family. Sometimes when I'm deep in thought, Hoodle will come over and sit next to me. I only wish I could actually pet him. Oh, you will someday. You won't believe how soft he is. Wish I had that problem. I'm lucky if I can so much as look at old feather brain without him trying to claw me to ribbons. <laughs> really? He seems mm. tame enough around everyone else. Maybe it's just Hoodle's way of establishing dominance? That's dogs, not owls. <laughs> What's going on when Hoodle pecks at you? Uh, I don't know. Like when I'm talking to Rinwell, it's like he's trying to muscle me out or something. Unless... Wait, you don't suppose <laughs> I make him jealous? Come again? <laughs> Prepare! Ow! Ah, get off of me, you insecure fluff ball! <laughs> <laughs> I rather think they make a good comedic pairing. Uh. Next city. <laughs> Finally made it. Sure is good to be back in the pleasant climes of Menencia. Especially after the extremes of some of the other regions we visited. Definitely. Your country is beautiful. You do me an honor. However, this place was never mine to own. I didn't mean it that way. Though I want to know where these other owls are. Born here either. <laughs> Native or not, that doesn't change the feelings you had for the place. If I were you, I'd try to take a little pride in people's compliments. Allow myself to feel pride, huh? That sounds like no easy task. Nothing sounds easy when you overthink things the way you do. It must be exhausting. He's always worrying about something. It's probably what gives him his eye for detail. That's just the way he is. Yeah, so we'd noticed. Let's change the subject, shall we? Uh -huh. It's a wonder so many things coincided to bring us here. Alfin's awakening... Shion's decision to revolt, the Danon uprising in Calaglia, the Crown Contest's final, sputtering throws. Zephyr's being in the right place at the right time, the fact that you happen to be a lord just as this was all going on. It's almost as if we were brought together by design, by someone who wanted to bring down the system. No, enough Hand of Destiny talk. We did this on our own steam. It's our responsibility to see it through. Did... Law just utter a pearl of wisdom? I do think about things, you know. Just, what do you take me for, exactly? <laughs> Honestly? Um, I always sort of pegged you as... a likable dolt. What the hell makes me a dolt, you dolt? I mean, <coughs> she did say he was a likable dolt, didn't she? Let's refrain from poking this particular zoogle any further. Some lessons just can't be taught. Not to dolts, anyway. Hey, Kisara, what's your secret for putting up with Dohalim? I don't know how you managed to deal with him. Secret? Oh, I don't think it's as difficult as all that, really. Could have had me fooled. Anyone who waxes lyrical on the aesthetic qualities of cactus thorns is a step <laughs> too far for me. And those poetic flourishes he sneaks into regular conversation? How am I supposed to react? He likes the sound of his own voice, that's for sure. I say let him have his fun. No need to try and understand anything he says. Has <laughs> he always been like that? <laughs> he didn't seem as on edge all the time back in Menencia. Though he was my superior back then. So who's to say what I didn't see? The Lord of Cislodia hid in plain sight while a crony posing as him carried out all his business. What if the Lord we met in Vicent was really... An imposter? Dohalim? Hardly. Like it or not, that's him all right. In all his flamboyant, circumloquacious glory. <laughs> I'd like to see someone try to impersonate that on a daily basis. Come to think of it, what with being a lord and all, he's probably never had anyone to speak to on an equal basis. It wouldn't surprise me. Having you guys around, having a family in a way, must be what's helped him change. A little heads up on some of his eccentricities would have been nice. 
<laughs> it's those eccentricities that make him who he is. Sure, the sad city. <laughs> Looks like we made it here in one piece. <sighs> Everything okay there, big guy? You look kind of pissed. I'll say. It looks like he wants to bite the head off something. What's eating at you? Come on, Alfin. You're gonna bring us all down if you keep that ferocious scowl on. Hmm? Oh, sorry. Do I really look that ticked off? Yeah, it kind of makes you hard to talk to. So, what's bothering you? It's, uh... It's a pebble. A pebble? A shoe? It snuck its way in the back <laughs> of my boot. Yeah. I can't seem to get rid of it. Oh my god. Oh, I totally get you. Weird how much it can get on your nerves, huh? Yeah. It's barely bigger than a grain of sand. So how come it feels like I'm walking around on hot nails? You know, maybe this is a crazy solution, but you could just take your boot off and give it a shake. Ah, mm. oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. He's You're right. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> it's like I've been given a new lease on life. Thanks for the tip, Shion. Seemed kind of obvious, but you're welcome. That's the trouble with windy places. All that fine debris ends up getting into your hair and clothes. Alfin, is it just me, or have you become extra sensitive ever since getting your sense of pain back? Now that you mention it, the other night at camp, there was a fly buzzing around that annoyed him <laughs> so much, he unsheathed the blazing sword. So much for sensitive. That's just being a Mr. Cranky Pants. Nothing new on that front, then. What's the matter, Alfin? You look a little tense. <sighs> It's nothing, really. He wants to get angry, but knows that doing so would only prove our point. <laughs> Hence the building frustration showing plainly on his face. Would you stop analyzing things for one minute? <laughs> <Don't take it>. <laughs> <laughs> Man. <laughs> stop being mean. Uh, would there be anything here, maybe? Towns? Hmm. Oh, no. Finally. If yeah. only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. I don't see anything. No skits. Thanks for the Lord. Let's go to the wedding. Uh, hold on. Because I still... Mm -hmm. Let's go oh. here. Just drinking. <laughs> and there's still also the camps to go to and the some conversations. Alright. Looks like we made it here in one piece. I do like the violin thing though. Mm hmm I wanna know where to get the, the owls chat that I'm they missing. They said that there are special hours owls that appeared. I thought they meant on um Reva. Oh. Wow. Oh, it's so expensive. <laughs> we have no money. <laughs> Woo! Use it. Cool. Mm -hmm. The upgraded version. Where do I get. Like. <gasps> what the hell? That's a Final Fantasy like weapon. It looks like a taco. Oh. Oblivion ring. I like how she gets the cool effects. Ooh! I wanna... I wanna... Gold and white designs remind me of them. I wanna the get this now. fucking item. Then let's go get it then. I don't know where the dragon flame sack is. What the yeah. hell? Alright, man, that's cool. They got the best uh, weapons. Why don't we go look at the bestiary? Ooh! Pretty. I could do that, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. The ranch. Rapping. Wait, if I can... Give me sheep.
Oh god, we gotta go to camps. Eh. We've reached our destination. Yeah, our locations. I haven't eaten food buff in a little while, but we're not gonna do that yet. Why are you staring at me? I could ask the same thing. So this uh. is how the Sovereign and Maiden are supposed to look. You two go great together. Oh. Law, come stand between us. <laughs> oh, sure. You want me to put something white on as well? Of course she doesn't. <laughs> Take a closer look, Shihan. It's a miracle. What are you talking about? This outfit. It's already got blue accents on it. <laughs> so I see. Wow. I love how much amazing food we get to eat, even when we're out on the road. Me too. Especially compared to what I used to have when I was still a slave. This is paradise. It's amazing what good food can do to keep your hopes up. Nagal used to say all the time that the power of food is subtle, yet profound. Yeah, ain't that the truth. For whatever reason... I find I don't worry nearly as much when I've got a full stomach helping 32. me out. Yeah, we have 32 That's why hours. you shouldn't be such a picky eater. Huh? She's right. You always leave food that you don't like on your plate when you're done. Come on, what's the big deal? Back in the day, I couldn't think about leaving any food. It was such a waste not to eat at all. You needed every last scrap of energy. Exactly. Even when my brother and I didn't have much to eat, we all did what we could to make it taste good and enjoy what we had. That definitely explains a lot about why you cook the way you do, Kisara. Dohalim, I bet you don't know what any of that's like. You must be used to food being handed to you on a silver platter. Sometimes it was gold. You didn't shy away from that at all. <laughs> Although, there was one experience that does come to mind. Oh? When I first learned that the food I ate originally came from animals and fish, I was rather taken aback. You just... ate whatever was in front of you without even thinking about it? That's a silver spoon elite for you. Oh my god. Your cooking has really improved, Shion. <sighs> it's because of you that I understand what makes it so fun. I'm glad everyone seems to enjoy what I make too. I've noticed a disturbing trend that after it's your turn to cook, our ingredients tend to run really low. What's up with that? That is a good point, Law. And there's a weird difference between the amount of ingredients she prepares and how much food actually gets served. Curious. Very curious indeed. I don't know. Isn't it pretty normal for veggies to shrink a little when you fry them up? Or maybe she eats all the bad batches herself so we won't notice. Come on. I wouldn't do anything like that. Then how would you explain the difference? <clears throat> I have a theory that I wish oh, to propose. No. <laughs> what is it? As we all know, Xion here can have quite the appetite. I imagine she often taste tests her own food as she prepares it. By my eye, it would appear that her footprints are leaving deeper impressions as of late. Uh, far be it from me to level such an accusation, uh, but the facts lead me to conclude that... She's been snacking while she cooks. And yet, she still looks so slender in her clothing. Yeah, I'm kind of envious, actually. Wait a sec, are you guys trying to say she's... Uh -huh. Oh no. I'm what? <laughs> uh, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> 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 Alistair, the, uh, when we landed on Rena, there was a prompt that popped up saying that there were special owls or something that appeared on she Dana. If that's supposed to be the prompt, now. then I guess we Sorry have it. Sorry about that. I was careless. I didn't come to criticize you. Just please take better care of yourself. Oh, you don't need to worry this. about me. Mm. In case you forgot, I can't exactly die anyway. It's like how you used to not care about getting beat up because you couldn't feel pain. And then I was the one to patch you up. It's the same thing. You're right. That is how I used to be. But this isn't the same. Then what do you mean? How is what's happening now different from what happened then? It's different now. Look, if you mean because you can feel pain again, I... It's because I don't want to see you getting hurt. <sighs> You're right. When I couldn't feel any pain, I put myself in all sorts of dangerous situations. 
I didn't listen to anybody's warnings. And I made a lot of people worried for no good reason. That was foolish. This isn't about you and me being able to take pain. I... I don't want to have to see you get hurt, Shion. It's too much for me to take. Is that a crazy thing to say? No, it isn't. And I... I definitely don't like seeing you get hurt either, Alfin. We can't expect our enemies to show us any mercy. But... I will do my best not to throw myself in harm's way out there either. How does that sound? I'm sorry if I sounded harsh earlier. I didn't mean to. I just... really want you to take better care of yourself. I will. At least, for as long as I can. Alright. Oh... No, we wait. We still have quite a bit of, like, additional stuff. Full of side quests to do. My hair is getting all over the place and getting in the way. Eh. Fifty SP. Oh, wow. I still gotta get the uh, the fish. Hi, sorry, come back. Welcome back. Thank you. We never got to get like the the boss fish or whatever yet. Cause you never go fishing. Oh, I also don't know what to fucking do to get that. <laughs> if I need a very particular lure. Oh God. Shion, could we talk a moment? <sighs> We're never gonna <sighs> fucking play this game. Hmm. I thought you had something to talk about. Boss fish is just when you catch on one you. of the rarest fishes. Not okay. really. Why? Should I leave you alone cool. when I don't? No, it's fine. We used to really have the to rain. force these conversations when we started talking to each other, didn't we? To say the least. <laughs> hey. What is it? These talks think? are important, and the game like doesn't to make tell you. Together? Oh. Make what exactly? Just if you wanna. Just if you wanna make dinner together. What did you think I meant? Huh? <laughs> dinner? Uh. Oh! Oh! Dinner! Yes! <laughs> yes, of course! A dinner! Outfit. Right! What did you think I was talking about? No, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> anyway, what did you have in mind? Well, do you recognize these ingredients? This is... Wait, is this? So you remember? That's right. We're going to fix the very first meal we ever had together. Although, I remember it not being well received when we had it. You still remember that, huh? I'm sorry, Xion. 
I'm just teasing you, Alfin. I picked this recipe because it's easy to make, and I thought it would be a good choice for dinner, too. Anyway, let's get to work. With both of us making it, we should be finished in no time. I never thought we'd end up eating alone like this again. Just the two of us. Yeah. So much has changed when you look back on it. Well, I guess maybe not what we're eating, but still. <laughs> no, I'd say even that's changed too, in a sense. Our meals are a whole lot better now. True. We've both come quite a long way in the culinary arts. That's not exactly what I mean. How do I put it? It feels like eating together is a lot more enjoyable than it used to be. Yeah, I get what you mean. Even after our battles are done, when Dana is saved and our mission is finished, we'll probably still be sitting down to dinner like this, night after night. Yep, I doubt that much will change. You've always got to eat at some point. I hope our dinners will always feel like this. Maybe not exactly like this. Hopefully we won't still be camping out. <laughs> oh, no, not at all. I meant in a nice, warm house. One with a roof over our heads and a proper fireplace, instead of an open campfire. And real chairs instead of these logs? Nice plates and silverware on a big dining table. Oh, and a proper kitchen. That'd be nice, too. And when it's time to fix dinner, we'll be in that kitchen. Standing side by side. <laughs> Whoops. Looks like we made too much. <laughs> I don't think we'll be able to finish all this. Yeah, you're right. I'll see if anybody else is still awake. I'd really hate to have to throw it away. Side by side, huh? Intertwining hearts I'm achievement. I'm looking forward to breakfast. Woo! Did you get enough sleep? <laughs> nice name. There's the second mystic art. Hmm. How do oh, I do it? Do we have Renwells yet or no? Nope. It is oh. doing the camp stuff with everybody and getting their affection maxed out or whatever. So, the next time we're at a campfire. Because we've done this before where we went to a campfire, had a conversation, and then when we went to do it again, no one had a conversation. Yeah, I'm gonna try like a different game here? and just see what happens. <gasps> and there's a hoodle here. Hmm. Hmm. Doing some thinking? Nah. It just occurred to me that our journey's been going for a while now. Is it a wonder to you our group has held together this long? Maybe. We've got Danans, Renans, <coughs> the Lord, the Mage, and even Epo a guy talk. from another time. Yet here we all are, leaning on each other as travel companions. It's like a minor miracle. If anything, I'd say it's proof. Proof that as long as we accept each other for who we are, we can all get along. And with understanding comes togetherness. Yeah, we are more than enough evidence of that. I've always had a thorny relationship with others, quite literally as it happens. I figured that it was easier to give up on intimacy rather than having to go through all of the pain of rejection. I mean, is it any wonder I grew thorns around my heart, too? But now... Right. Now... I still have my thorns, of course. But they don't cover my heart. I know now that there is more than one way for people to relate to one another. It was you and everyone else here that taught me that. Everyone that you brought together, Alfin. It wasn't just me. I mean, sure, I invited a few folks to join us, but... Swordsmanship's about all I have to offer. Everyone's taught and supported me just as much as I have them. You see? That's what I'm talking about. What do you mean? I mean, you're fine just as you are. 
the bonds that you form with others. They shine more brightly because they're mutual. It's not just one bond for you. It's many, each with a heart of its own. That's what makes them special. <gasps> Kale prevention? <gasps> Why not? I didn't realize you didn't have it. Wait, I, no, I thought you did. I thought I did. Overland extension, Thunderfang. Cool. This is when you get a Thunderfang? Jesus. Christ. Time to say hello. Oh. Uh, <laughs> hey, Elfin. Why do you like spicy food so much anyway? You know, I There's haven't so thought many about that before. <laughs> Maybe because when I couldn't feel pain, it gave me that kick I was craving. But now that you can feel pain again, wouldn't your tastes have changed? Did you like spicy food when you were younger? Not as much as I do now. At some point, it just became something almost like an addiction, I guess. I can most certainly relate. Once you've had your fill of ordinary food, you cannot help but seek out more unusual fare. I don't think that's got anything to do with Alfin's tastes. Although I won't deny that you definitely have a thing for exotic food. The stranger the better. <laughs> I just wish I could have gotten you into sweets like me, Alfin. I like food that's dense and keeps you feeling full myself. It helps you last longer when you're on the move. We all know you're a quantity over quality kind of... What was that? <laughs> uh, nothing. I, uh... I lost my train of thought. You know, <laughs> I've also noticed Xion's not really into the same In the kind background. of food that Renan's are. Could be it's got something to do with the way she grew up. <laughs> That's so me. Even when I was little, I was all about food that gives me strength. All meat, all the time. <laughs> and I guess she saw is so good at cooking fish because she can catch them herself. I'm only good with fish because it used to be the easiest thing to get. When you work with something long enough, it comes naturally to you. I like fish just fine. But what I really like about your cooking is how it tastes homemade. It reminds me of what my mom used to make. She's a mom. Really? You know, I used to cook a lot of meals for younger kids, and they said the same thing. When you get down to it, I guess the things a person cooks and the foods they like say a lot about the way they've lived. Oh my god. Uh, what? Hey guys, I don't see any of our food anywhere. What? <laughs> I know! The bag we kept it all in has vanished! <sighs> Some Zoogles must have gotten in behind us and swiped the whole thing while we were fighting! What? Huh? What are you guys talking about? This affects you too, you know! We lost all our food, including all those sweets you love so freaking much! What? <laughs> How could this happen? Oh. Those sweets are the highlight of my day! Oh, so hungry. Hunger is like that. The uh. moment you know there's nothing you can do about it, it becomes that much more unbearable. Whoever did this, I swear I'm gonna make them pay for Listen, stealing our supplies. Now. <laughs> All that's left now is this one lonesome apple. <laughs> Law? Uh. What? Hey, don't look at me like that. I picked this apple myself. I'm not just gonna... Food. <laughs> Hand it over. <laughs> Stay away! <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, I'm back. Uh, huh? What the heck happened here? <sighs> Only a poignant reminder of how dangerous a food shortage can be in a collective. A serious problem indeed. And one we should all be mindful of. I see. Does it have anything to do with why you're holding our no, fly bag behind your back? <laughs> <laughs> uh, How do we get the other conversations with the with the party members? <laughs> Love no. <laughs> <laughs> Alistair, how do we reset the convos? Do plot? But the only plot is to go fight the thing! There's still enough Night, plot? Night, everyone! Damn. Should we, like, do a little plot and then immediately find a campfire or something? 
Yeah, do, do side quests count? Where am I? That's where I'm side quest. Oh, okay. Cutscene and then try camp. Okay. Oh, so maybe we shouldn't have just been marathoning all the side quests. If we wanted to see all of the conversation cutscenes. Why don't we fight them? We might need their materials. No. They're only like level two. <laughs> Is this the barrier that's keeping the Zoogle in that Nafe mentioned? Looks like it. Our Zoogle pal should be on the other side. This barrier is weird. Can't wait for this to be level 80. Old and half finished. Plus, he said it was okay to break. I mean, we won't need it anymore once the Zoogle's gone, right? So what does it matter? <laughs> break this, save the game, and leave it open forever. We can't kill it. <laughs> oh, let's go to the campfire now. That was a cutscene. <laughs> the rock is on the cliff near this boulder. Oh. Is it a bear or something? That thing was sturdier than you give it credit for. Really? Uh is that it up there? Can I even yeah. can I like around? The owl? Is that the break a rock oh. though or something? Oh there it is. The interaction. It's the vines, that's what it was, not a rock. Okay. That's owl thirty-three. That's My so word. This must be the work of providence. Pro oh God. What was it for? Law. Cool. Oh, but what now? It means destiny. I think it's a bit of an exaggeration, oh, though. Alright, what level is this thing? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, I need my control. I know you can finally play the game, Chi. <laughs> I know it's crazy, isn't it? Where, where we are no Let me know if you need healing. What is it? Water? Is it fire? It's a one. Oh, the water enemy. What the my hell? Ow. Yeah. Dead lord. What level are you? 53. That's 13 levels of uh, out of us. Shion. Um. A heal. A baba. Casting something? Ah. Uh. Man, go Halim L. Oh, use the light bottle. <laughs> That's like casting magic, actually. God damn it, dude. Spit water. Take this. Oh, what is this? This is ten 
kind of close. Oh, okay. Can't even see the water. Oh. Of course it has a shit ton of range. Kinda of fucking garbage. Water. Must be nice to have just what you needed. I got one here. <laughs> oh, right over. Oh. Ow. Those punches are fucked up. Yeah, let's say with our orange job. There's that water again at you. It's your own dodge. I was like, that's not the thing. Water again. Going in any of those things that they need a level of discrepancy. Well, so far, this thing has a pathetic moveset, so it's very easy. It's just a sandbag. Here I 
I was expecting that move. <laughs> I was like, where is it not doing that other move? How dare it copy cousin. Just waiting. Bang. Oh yeah, you can't do that. Fuck. I don't know. Oh, now you're getting a little, a little scrappy. That would not be over here. Got a sucker punch, my favorite. I love when games have that. Can I pause my fucking game, please? Thank you. Cool, I spawn in on the other side and fucking almost die. How fair. That's easy. Dodge and nothing happened. I really owe you one. I'm sorry to be a father. We've all got enough. Dude, problems. what the flying fuck, man? Yes, I'll bring you back from death's abyss. The flames will roar. Resuscitate me now. Here I go. No less We're good to go. Oh, I can't dodge and just proc it once. It'll just hit me more than once. That's fair. Waiting for him to do his cast and waiting for this shit to be available. How can I jump? Hello? Okay, what? Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking lose my mind at this shit. This is so fucking stupid. Why the fucking game wouldn't let me jump? Watch this again. I don't even know if we can... If we can buy any pineapple gel, but if we can, cool. He just killed both of them. Again. Tiresome. The flames will roar. Sleep now. Try hard, Meister. Eternal devastation. Of course. Is it still 
raging. It's in rage now. No. I don't know what I do without you. Perhaps now is time. I really don't. He's just blocking everything right now. It hits three times. Three times. And there is a delay between when the game actually decides on when it can actually tick again. <sighs> this is not fun. At all. This is just tiresome. That was true, really. I'll bring you back from Death's Abyss. supposed to do in that instance. Oh, melee Eli. I don't know either, but that's why I'm baiting it, I guess. Meanwhile, if you are anywhere in the in the uh, spell, you just get stunlock. And I love how it has a 180 churn that's a sucker punch. And now I just fucking... I'm so tired of reviving her. I'm tired. She, I, we need to have someone alive that can heal, and I, I don't want to fucking play that character. Could we potentially change our AI to be? I'll bring you back from death's abyss. Oh, this is. This is stupid. I'm just gonna sit around and just play fucking keep away the entire time because phase two is when it like just I'm not fine with this. I'm done I'm done with this. This is fucking stupid. I'm genuinely tired of it. I'll come back to it later. Because like I with with the fucking the dog shit accessories that, that we have because there's some fuckload of goddamn ore in the game that have so many varying stats that also require you to upgrade everything so you can trade all that stuff around, move it around, or some shit. It's just tiresome. Like, it, it like, begs you to grind, 
like a lot but also there's like no way for the game to feel streamlined so you can just do what you want to do like this is not supposed to be something it's not supposed to be as as like challenging as it is yet here we are all because it has a fuckload of hp and it has super armor mm. it's just stupid I was gonna ask if we could check out the campfire since we did reload. I don't know if that could potentially reset those as well. I'll check out this because it's an hour. Hey, she's here. pretty cute. Who are you looking at? Quit gawking and let's go. Ow! Those those bosses are just not fun. Like they're just glorified sandbags. Even if I, even if we beat that first try by just brute forcing it, by having a fuck like max items to heal ourselves, it's not. It doesn't make it fun. It just has the same about, three moves. When I think about this game being played solo, I do wonder how people played it with the AI being as it is. I think <gasps> this is something. Oh, that's huge. <laughs> oh, hi then. And he still doesn't have a care for them. And none of this shit is shit that I care about. Crazy. I sense a strange power from this. So there's something down there. Huh. There's a Slodia in the prison tower. Okay. As we'll pick this up. Don't believe this. Ah! Okay. Great. Look. Okay. Nice. Ah! Ah. <laughs> but this is. Wow. Hmm. 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 Yes. <gasps> Donuts. Oh. Amazing. <laughs> nice work. Achievement. What was the name of it? Uh, Globe Trotting Foodie. Ah. Uh, it's a slow dia. Prison Tower. Hidden Chamber. This collection room. Alright. 